warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey everyone, my name is Alicia Fadila Zaria from SMA Kesatrian Dusmara. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about the origin of a famous city in Indonesia, Surabaya. Okay, let's start the story. Once upon a time, in the northern part of Ishava, there lived a scary giant crocodile in the river named Baya. He was feared by all the animals in the forest near the river. Meanwhile, in the sea, there lived a wild shark named Sura. He ruled the sea and every fish were scared of him. However, Sura felt bored because he ate fish every day. He was curious about the river near the sea. One day, he decided to go to the river. At the side of the river, he saw a deer that was drinking water. He catch it and ate it. Mmm, so yummy! After eating deer, Sura became addicted. The next day, he hunted back on the river and got a lot of food. After a couple of days, Baya became suspicious because it was harder and harder to find prey. He started investigating what was happening. When Baya saw Sura in the river, Baya became angry. Hey Sura, what are you doing here? This is my territory. How dare you snatch my prey? Sura was afraid of Baya. He challenged Baya to a fight. Hey, I can look for food anywhere I want. Fight could have avoided. Pook! Pook! Because part of them were strong, the fight was very long. After a while, the two wild animals were exhausted. No one won, no one lost. <sighs> Sura, we better end this fight. I'm too tired. Sorry, Baya. Okay, let's end this fight. Sura, first, we need to limit our hunting area. The end of the river is the limit. Don't you break the land or you will get the consequences. Okay, Baya, I accept. Sura finally left the river and returned to the sea. For months, there were no fight. But Sura felt uneasy. He longed to eat their meat like before. He couldn't bear it. He swam toward the mouth of the river quietly. I, I look for food, pray near the river's mouth. Pray out for no, because he lives further up the river. <laughs> I will catch the prey and immediately bring it out to sea. So, Baya won't see me. <laughs> the plan was successful. And for months, Sura hunted in the river with a pain discovered. Over time, Baya became suspicious. Because again, his prey was reduced. Even though he didn't see Sura in the river, he believed this was Sura's doing. Must be Sura. Watch out, Sura. Then, Baya prepared plan. Baya hid on the edge of the river and stayed there for a long time. Then, he saw Sura trying to catch an animal in the river. Just as he was about to bring the prey to the sea, Baya confronted him. Hey, 
You sure are shameless, Suda. How greedy are you? Did you forget an agreement? This river is my territory. Suda was shocked when Baya phone was hit. Baya was furious. Okay, then our agreement is cancelled. Now, the strongest one has the right to rule this area. Finally, Baya attacks Suda. A fight couldn't be prevented. They crashing, hitting, and punching. The water surrounding became red because of the blood. Sura with Paya spell. And Baya did likewise until Sura's tail was cut off. Sura ran away toward the sea and didn't appear in the river since then. To commemorate the fierce like the area where they folk was called Sura Paya. And the name remains to this today. Surabaya is well known as the city of heroes because of its history when the yacht of Surabaya and their leader ruled hard fought in defending our nation's independence from inventors. From the story, we can learn a lesson how to be brave and struggle to protect and our right and our nation. Thank you for thank you so much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.